All right, guys, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, the Nuzlocke Challenge here with Super Turtle. I hope you all are having a fantastic day because I surely am. We just found an antidote, so we don't need to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center if we do end up getting poisoned. We're making our way through Viridian Forest today. Uh, let's see, who do we want to lead this? Can't really have anyone else, so let's get Nuka Cola up front and we'll have some fun with him. All right. And let us see. Got this bug catcher Anthony would like to battle. Uh, Caterpie. Okay, we'll see how he does against Caterpie. All right, Nuka Cola, show him what's up. We're probably just going to tackle here. And you missed. You are amazing. Thank you. All right. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. String shot. Son of a nutcracker. All right. Sweet, we got him. And yes, level 11. Thank you very much, Nuka Cola. Another Caterpie. This guy is level 8. If you guys are wondering, I do have a guide up just for the trainers, just to see who I'm going up against. That way, you know, I can make the, me the best of everything. Missed the guy. Come on. Ah, she is. This guy is making me so slow. Yes, there it goes. Okay, we did it. Sweet, thank you, Anthony. Oh, boo! Nothing went right. I got 96 bucks, Pokey bucks. Cool beans. Thanks for the donation, buddy. So this is unavoidable. We're going to run into someone here. I just know it. Oh, I'm the last one. Oh, Kakuna. I think it'd be good for Nuka Cola to take this thing out. How does Bubble do against a bug type? This is better than the other move. So the cool thing is, is I believe defense raises, but if we use Bubble, we should be okay. Yep. Oh, and your speed fell. I hate how Kakuna's only no Harden in this place. Alright, cool beans. Ooh, didn't run into anyone there. Hey, buddy! Are you Charlie? Did you know that Pokemon evolve? I did. It's amazing. Are you Charlie? Yeah, Buckcatcher Charlie would like to battle. All right, Metapod, that's who you're leading with? Level seven. Okay, Nuka-Cola. Show them what you're made of. Critical hit, nice job. This is amazing. All right. The bubbles. I love the bubbles. Perfect. Hey, level 12. Yeah, boy. We're going to switch out to Sprite here. Get her some levels. Caterpie. Ah, string shot. It's an annoying move. All right, use it again, and boom, you're done. Great job, Sprite. You know, Sprite gets Hyper Fang. I don't know what, what level, but it is a phenomenal move. And I am so excited to use it. Unfortunately, we just have Quick Attack for this Metapod. It's going to harden, so this is going to be an interesting fight. I do have Tail Whip. We could totally lower the defense. That would be so funny. But I'd say two more moves and we got it. Alright. 
One more attack and we're done. Boom, you're gone, Metapod. All right, Bugcatcher Charlie has been defeated. And we're gonna switch out for Sprite to lead to get that level up. And we're gonna work on Fruit Punch probably next episode. Well, we're gonna probably do a training episode. So if you guys have any questions, I'm gonna do a Q&A time lapse. If you guys have any questions that you want answered, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section here or shoot me a message over on Twitter and I will answer them. We'll do it in a time lapse, it'll be cool. You'll get basically a shout out and um, I'll read out your comment. So it'll be cool and I'll answer it if it's, if it's reasonable, obviously. So, but that'll be fun. All right, so this is Sammy coming up and he has got a level nine Weedle. So let's see, how do you do against Weedle with quick attack? Well, that pretty much solved it. You hit really hard with it. All right, Sammy. Hey, wait up, what's the hurry? What, why the rush? Because, man, I just wanna go fight some people. Just wanna sit in the corner and bubble beam all the peoples. Right, so here's his Weedle. We got eight quick attacks left. Wait a second, you have a level nine Weedle? Oh no! We've been poisoned! String shot. Okay, so we got him. We're gonna use the antidote after this battle. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that we have an antidote. And you're done. Goodbye, Sammy. I'll take your monies. Player defeated butt catcher Sammy. I give you're you are you are at good at this. Should have got 108 Poke Dollars. Cool beans. So let's go ahead and heal up Sprite. Because we don't want Sprite dying. Sprite, she is she is proving herself to be very awesome. She's getting a lot of critical hits, so we're gonna keep her we're keep her around. Oh, Pokemon. There is a hidden item around here, I do remember. So we will see. Sprite fled using runaway. Hmm. I guess not. Okay. Level five, Weedle. We'll take you out. You might give some good experience. Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right, we are out of Viridian Forest. What do you got, old man? Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move I hear. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to, to get different find, kinds, whatever. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. That's lame. I want them to evolve and be more powerful. So unfortunately, this is Route 2, so we can't capture anything here. Which really stinks, because I want to. But we're in Pewter City, everyone. Isn't it, isn't it amazing? It is amazing. Let's go ahead and heal up. I would like you to hold all my Pokemon, because they need healing. All right. So let's see here. So Brock has an Onyx and a Geodude, and I'm pretty sure... I think they're both at 14. I could be wrong. So we'll see. But I'd like to go in there and take on the first guy. I only have two of these. Dang. We need monies! Alright. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. Museum of Science. Let's go check this place out. 50 bucks, okay. Jeez, Louise, that's expensive. Let's check out these cool fossils. Oh, Aerodactyl fossil, primitive and rare Pokemon. Cool beans. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. What? Oh, 
Kabutops Fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. Who beans? We do have a chance to get some of those eventually. This month, we're running a space exhibit. That's cool. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. That's cool. Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. <laughs> that is a tough one to get. Hey, what's up? Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? It looks like an ordinary rock to me. Well, maybe because it is. A meteorite fell on Mount Moon, and it's thought to be a moonstone. Cool beans. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. July 20th, huh? I think that's cool. That's cool. We've talked to all the peoples here. Thanks for the exhibit. Oh, there's the opening I need to get to, but I don't have anything cool. Like cut to get in there. So we need to find out who has it. Hey, you got a Nidoran. Sit. Bow, bow. Okay. Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. <laughs> That's funny. Rip. Rip that dream. Hey, buddy. Did you check the museum? I did. Weren't those fossils in Mount Moon amazing? Yeah, they were. Thanks for letting me know. Which is over here? Uh, oh, a house. Cool beans. Let's go inside this person's house. Hello. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught to them by people. A Pokemon becomes easier to catch as it is, as it has its death problems. Sleep, poison, burn, and paralysis, those are all effective. But catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Unless you have a Master Ball, and then you're too cool for school. Alright, bum. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. Okay. They're all like bug catchers, you know, just hobbyists. But Pewter James Brock isn't like that. Not one bit. Hmm. He's not, huh? Pissed. Do you know what I'm doing? No. I'm spraying repel to keep wild Pokemon out of my garden. That's cool. Have fun there. Uh, this guy won't let me pass, Willie. You're trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Oh boy, he's gonna make me follow him. Uh, you know, there's a good shot that we could take Brock right now, but I am honestly really nervous too. Hey, there's a girl. Does she have the move cut that we need? If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Okay, let's go take on the first guy in here, but let's go talk to that girl first. She looks like she needs to be talked to. Hello. The fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after Moonstones fell on Mount Moon. That's cool. That is cool. All right, who are you? ha hi -ya. Do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yes? All right, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list, okay? By changing the order of the Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Okay. We are going to go with you, buddy. We're going to fight this guy. Stop right there, kid! Oh, I'm not a kid, I am a man. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Uh, we'll see about that. Don't cry when I destroy your team. Camper Liam sent out Geodude. Oh, a level 10 Geodude, bro. Like, he thinks he has gains, but look at this bubble. Watch these gains, like, disappear. Oh, sorry, what? You, you had a Geodude? I'm sorry. You don't anymore. Ooh, level 13. Sandshrew. Okay, so let's see how effective Bubble is against you. Pretty effective. Defense Curl? You're going to be that annoying guy. Come on! Alright, another Bubble. Another Bubble. And we got one more on his Dunsky. Ooh. Oof, there goes your speed, buddy. 
Oh, geez, a critical hit. Stop doing that. Got him. All right, so now we're going to be level 13. Yeah, we're going to take on Brock. Water gun, yes! Okay, so... Let's get rid of Tackle. Poof! Learned Water Gun. Amazing. And we defeated Liam. All right. See ya, Liam. We're going to go to the Pokemon Center and... <laughs> <laughs> there a fence around this place why would you do that that's so annoying like i have to walk all the way around just to go heal my pokemon do you know how boring this is like just walking like this is a waste of time thanks very much people who developed the game welcome to our pokemon center would you like me to heal your pokemon to perfect health yes i do you take my pokemon for a few seconds okay I can't believe we have five Pokemon. We caught uh, Red Bull and uh, what did I name the other one? Smoothie. That's right. Gosh, I feel so bad. I forget their names. All right, so let's go in and battle Brock. We should just wipe the floor with him. Um, I have two potions, so we should be okay. Yeah, Squirtle, Squirtle's gonna have to pretty much just take this thing on here by himself. My rock hard willpower <laughs> is evident, even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard <laughs> and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> You're going to challenge me, knowing that you'll lose. That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. All right, Brock. Let's do this. Leader Brock would like to battle. Leader Brock sent out Geodude. All right, Geodude. Prepare to be water gunned. Bye, Geodude. <laughs> 220 XP? Wow. Wow, okay. So let's check out the stat difference on the water gun real quick. So Bubble was 20 and 100% accuracy. Water Gun is 40 and 100% accuracy. So it it basically doubles the attack of Bubble. That's pretty good. We're going to leave him out there. All right. Water Gun again. Oh, boy, he's faster than I am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we just two-shotted him. We, we two-shotted Brock? Oh my god, it's proof of your victory. I, I confer on you. This is the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Should we receive the Boulder Badge from Brock? Amazing. We annihilated him. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside the battle. Of course, the Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Turtle got $1,400 for winning. Thank you. Wait, take this with you. Turtle will see TM39 from Brock. Put TM39 in case. TM technical move contains a technical... Uh, TM is good for one use, so when you pick a Pokemon carefully. Anyway, TM... Rock Tomb. We didn't even see it. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. That's cool. All right, what do you have to say now? Just as I thought, you're a Pokemon champ material. Thank you, buddy. That means a lot. Well, all right, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode for today. We took on Brock. We got our first gym badge, which is awesome. Check it out down there in the bottom left. We have $1,900, and we've caught five Pokemon in total. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button, as always, and don't forget to subscribe. But, guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace out. Bye-bye.